Hello everybody, today I would like to tell you a little bit about total air temperature sensor and what is it good for? So let's take a look at it. Total air temperature refers to the actual temperature of the air surrounding of the aircraft, including the heating effect inducted by the aircraft rapid movement through the atmosphere. But before we continue, I need to explain one more value and that is static air temperature or SAT. This is a temperature of undisturbed air around the aircraft, also referred as outside air temperature, which means when you stand still outside, you feel static temperature. And if you look at it very simply, TAT is summary of the static air temperature and kinetic components depending on the speed, which means that TAT in cruise is typically around 30 degrees Celsius higher than outside air temperature. But of course, the faster the airplane moves, the bigger temperature difference will be. Uh, this parameter is crucial in aviation as it provides more accurate representation of the external air temperature considering the kinetic heating effect of the airframe during the flight. Of course, understanding of total air temperature is vital for calculating of the aircraft's true airspeed and performance characteristics. It uh, affects engine thrust, fuel efficiency and aerodynamic properties uh, making actual measurement essential for the safety and efficiency of the flight. That was a bit of theory and now let's take a look on the sensor itself. They are located on the nose section under the cockpit. One is on the left side, the other one is on the right side. And uh, how it works? Air enters into the scope, then it goes through the calibrated choke then it flows over hermetically sealed platinum resistance uh, sensing element which send data to AIDR or air data reference of the airplane to where everything is calculated. Uh, all this is true in the air, but what about on the ground? On the ground we of course don't have uh, airflow. Problem starts during sunny day because uh, on the one side you have uh, sunshine and the other side is in the shade, which of course can cause problems. That's why some of the Airbuses have a special feature. They have a aspirated total air temperature sensors. Uh, and you can see this pipe inside of here. That means whenever there is a bleed source like APU or uh, high pressure ground connection or engine bleed activated the air flows through this pipe and it's sprayed out which create a low pressure inside which provide enough force to drag air into the scope and of course through the choke and around the element which provide accuracy on the ground easy as that as you can see here, not all TAT sensors are aspirated, which of course cause inaccuracy during slow motion, during taxing or during parking. But you need to be always sure that TAT sensor is clean, since we already learned that it is very important for airplane function, especially during air operation which means that we need to inspect it during every daily check. But there can be another obstacle, especially during flight operation, and that's ice. And exactly because of that, these sensors are heated and the heating element is implemented in the scope and the strut to keep the probe free of ice under the most severe icing conditions. For the heating system, we are using 115 volt AC and of course, whenever airplane is on the ground, the heating system is switched off. But we need to be really careful during maintenance operation because whenever airplane thinks that it's in the air, it will switch on the heating system, which can cause damage to the equipment. Okay, that was quick fun fact about total air temperature sensor. If you have any questions regarding this topic, as always, write them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. That's all from my side. My name is Tomasz. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto. And I'll see you next one. Bye.